right. Let's uh let's look over here real quick. Miss Thora Gray. Looks like arsenic. Miss Thora Gray, Comside, Tristan, Devon. Arsenic trioxide thallium. What did Thora need arsenic for? The Black Dragon's Curse. To Franklin. Who will never grow Black up. Black Dragon's Curse. To Franklin, who will never grow up. January 25, 1928. Car Charlotte. Hmm. Let's see what's through this door. Hmm. Looks like there's lots of interesting things. I'm sure this is another puzzle, so let me see. Oh boy. Four Chinese symbols are engraved on this padlock. Hmm. Well, well. The characters engraved on this disc resemble those engraved on the padlock. Okay. So, how many do we have? Oop. Like this, this character appears to be the right way round. Ah, okay. Like this, this character appears to be the right way round. That's it. This character appears to be the right way round. Good. The position of this character looks right to me. Okay. Very so... good. All the circles are facing the right way. What are they showing me? Let's see if that'll help us open the padlock. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. At last, the cupboard is open. At last. <laughs> What's in here? The English countryside is back in fashion. By English, I don't mean British, but a very specific image of rural England. What is this book? Genteel and Wild by Alistair Bradford. Genteel and Wild. English countryside revisited. Hmm. That doesn't seem very important. The railway children, E. Nesbitt. For Franklin. For Franklin. Owned half his Christmas, 1910. Huh. I grew up watching a movie of uh from that book the railway children traveling in china a practical guide for english travelers interesting a mat flask and rifles franklin is very well equipped hmm. 
What is this map over here? Okay. I think the signet ring should be placed here. Okay. Why not? The plates around the picture appear to have unlocked. I think I've already seen these symbols on Franklin's trophies. I have not seen Franklin's trophies yet. I better go and see if I can find them. Are they over here? Ah, there's one. July 1920, Alaska Peninsula. Alaska. The lioness in the hall is from Sumatra. February 1922, South Africa. And this uh, kudu, it looks like it's called, is a. Uh, Franklin appears to be very in active. Africa. Hunting rifles. Looks like there's some tennis rackets down there. Franklin Clark appears to be a typical British gentleman. A good sportsman, a hunter, a traveler. South Africa. Okay. Then let's go back over here. I'll put the signet ring back into this corner. The plates around the picture appear to have unlocked. I think I've already seen these symbols on Franklin's trophies. Okay. Interesting. Still not in quite know what I'm supposed to do here. South America. Hmm. Maybe there are more trophies somewhere that I just missed. Let's uh let's take a quick look around. Cause that will get very frustrating.
so the uh, lioness is from Sumatra. Nothing over here. Sumatran lion. Any in the drawing room? These appear to be all Franklin's things. Compass, point to the south. Bronze and magnetite, Han Dynasty, circa. Hmm. I didn't look at this map earlier. Let me see what this is. Traditional Chinese map. Traditional Chinese map. Facsimile. South is on the top of the map. Hmm. Interesting. But that does not get us any closer to figuring out the puzzle in here. Maybe something on his desk. Let me take a look. Anything on his desk over here that could give us a clue? On the desk? No? Okay. Oh. Let's go to the puzzle. plates around the picture appear to have unlocked. I think I've already seen these symbols on Franklin's trophies. So let's try... okay. Let me see. Some of these we didn't see though. So what could that mean? them all in the same order? Well, that doesn't work. The Alaskan could you bear? I got the bear. Okay. What about... Oh. The Lion of Sumatra. Okay. The African Kudu. I heard the sound of a mechanism. Well, I solved it. I have no idea how, but I solved it. One safe. Triangulating one's hunting sites on the map. Has to do with triangulation somehow. What was the date on the signet ring? Signet ring was uh, the clue or the key to get on into the last puzzle. These documents are very likely going to help me for the rest of the inquiry. Hmm. 
Okay, lots of interesting looking a things dozen here. Gold sovereigns. Some shares for the Southern Railway and some treasury bills. This is not worth much. Hardly enough to justify your robbery. A dozen gold Oops. sovereigns. <sighs> Eton College School Year, 1912 1913. Ah, he went to Eton. Franklin Clark. School report for Franklin Clark. According to his teachers, Franklin was a good student, but lacked discipline. Sir Carmichael Clark, Campside, Churston, Devon, to Mr. Franklin Clark, Peninsula Hotel, Salisbury Road, Tsinchaswi, Kowloon, Hong Kong, Campside, 1935, January the 12th. Dear Franklin, first, I wish you a good start to a successful new year. I have received your letter dated December 10th. Thanks for defending my interest against Wang, this robber. Things could have got pretty bad if you weren't a real good-blooded guy. I envy you for that. Things go on here much as usual. Charlotte is moderately free from pain. I wish one could say more. You may remember Thora Gray. She is a dear girl and a greater comfort to me that I can tell you. I should not have known what to do through this bad time but for her. She has an exquisite taste and shares my passion for Chinese art. No daughter could be a closer or more sympathetic companion. Life has been difficult, but I am glad to feel that here she has a home and true affection. You wrote me you want to stay in China for one more year or even longer. I don't object. The longer you stay, the more opportunities you will have to increase our collection. Nonetheless, you should know that we miss you here, and that Charlotte will be gone by the time you come back. I am, dear Franklin, your truly affectionate brother. So Carmichael loved his brother. I wonder if the same went for Franklin. Charlotte Clark Comside, Churston, Devon, to Mr. Franklin Clark, Peninsula Hotel, Salisbury World, Chin Shatsui, Colon, Hong Kong, Comside, 1935, January 1st. I wish you with all my heart a happy year 1935. Writing my greeting cards, I have affectionate thoughts for you. Always smiling as a child, sailing to distant countries and bringing back to us trunks full of wonder. At home, everything annoys me. Starting with this young Thora Sir Carmichael is so fond of. I have nobody to share my feelings with, so I write to you. How can I tell you what happens to me? The simplest way the better. I am doomed. I still have one year to live, no more. How do I know? I opened the secret drawer of Carmichael and read a letter not addressed to me. In this letter, Dr. Logan tells my husband in the most direct way the truth he conceals from me. Sir, I know. But my husband doesn't know I know. Please don't tell him. And if he shares the truth with you, act as you are surprised. Carr will probably speak in his usual convoluted way, but I wanted to be the first to announce it to you. So it does matter to me that you are aware of what happens in Comside. So Franklin has Charlotte. come home instead of staying in China. 